morning everyone. I'm getting ready to do a workout and we'll be posting it up on YouTube. But I thought I'd talk about the third element of fitness uh, in my training. And this is strength. Now often we see lots of pictures of people lifting huge weights and getting huge muscles. And really that's not my game. I, I don't know how to train to that sort of fitness. I mean, I, I would know how to do it, but it's not my intention. We're wanting to build up muscle. And why do we want to build up muscle? Well, there's lots of benefits of having muscle. Toning up muscle and um, reducing uh, fat is a really healthy for the heart. If you have layers of fat around the middle, it's proven to put your heart under threat. Muscle also obviously is attached to your skeletal bone. And as you train a muscle, as you stretch, as you expand that muscle, you're actually putting pressure on your bones. And this is what we want to do, especially as we age, um, because putting pressure on the ends of our bones makes them stronger. Bones grow from, the eye, from either end of the long bones. And so by putting that muscle under, under stress, we are stressing those bones and thereby using them and making them stronger. Giving, giving it impact, really. Um, the other benefit of muscular strength is that you'll, you'll develop flexibility. And, and flexibility, maybe on a rotational plane or on a reaching plane, will really help you with back, any back problems. And also straining up the biggest muscle in the body, which I spend a lot of time on, which is your glutes, which is part of what your, your, bum, your bum muscle, which is part of um, what we call the posterior chain, which would be your quads, the front of the legs, the hams, the back of the legs, your glutes, which is your bum cheeks. They're all like a great sort of foundation that will support you as you hinge, as you move, as you sit, as you stand, as you walk, and, and thereby protect the back, the, the back by uh, increasing form in these muscles. What's also interesting is that muscle is now being regarded as a gland in the body and um, and, and, and is a real protector for immunity. Um, if we feed the muscles with, with, with work, if the muscles have to work, then we increase the blood flow to the muscles and thereby increasing immunity. And also the other thing as well is by training a muscle, your muscles are calling on your body's energy reserves, your food reserves, your sugar, your glucose reserves in your blood. And you're dispatching that glucose, that food to the muscle. And this is what we want to be doing with our food is metabolizing it, taking it to our muscles because we're using it. And therefore that means that any glucose in our blood is metabolized rather than being converted to fat and sitting around our, our middles and, um, and creating ob obesity and, and the other risks that are involved with having higher levels of um, subcutaneous fat. So muscle is great. Don't worry if you don't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. What we want to be doing is using what we've got. That was a long talk. Whew.